Hello flesh bags and welcome to another Gamer Dad's news update. I am Reds Gamma, your robotic data collector. Here are this week's top gaming news stories. Analysts suggest that Grand Theft Auto the 5th of May be released in March 2013. Since April 2012, speculation has been rife regarding Rockstar's latest delve into the criminal underworld. And legendary analyst Michiel Pacha says that due to Take Two's financial report for the next year, it is impossible for them to attain that amount unless they bring out a blockbuster game. Rockstar has provided brief glimpses at Grand Theft Auto V thus far. The game will be set primarily in present day Los Santos, a fictional town modeled on Los Angeles. Rockstar has also said that Grand Theft Auto V boasts the largest scope of any installment in the franchise to date. Scam Alert! People who download games on their Android devices should be cautious, as scammers are using an old trick to lure people in and take their money. The games may look like Angry Birds, cut the rope and more, but it is just a front, and once downloaded these programs will send Texts to your phone which many never receive and will charge your tariff £15 for the pleasure. It doesn't happen on Apple or Blackberry, as they are checked before they go on the storefront. For tips on how to spot these scams and more, go to www.bbc.co.uk slash newsbeat. Devil May Cry 5 has a release date, days after Capcom saying their need to make the turnaround on sequels shorter. The new adventure, starring Dante, will be released on January the 15th, 2013. The game is set to place the player as a younger Dante, much different from who we're used to seeing shoot, punch and slice up baddies. The release date is for the PS3, Xbox 360, and a PC version is well underway. And finally, has the Wii U controller been revised? A Traveler's Tales. Quality Assurance Tester tweeted a picture of a Wii U tablet controller this weekend, revealing Nintendo has made some notable changes to the device since gamers first saw it at the 2011 Electronic Entertainment Expo. It has different analog sticks, the home button has moved and it has the Wii U logo on it. Games Radar, who broke the story originally, also stated that it could be a developer design unit, but whatever the case, Nintendo will have a lot of questions to answer come this year's Electronic Entertainment Expo. And that is it for another week. Thank you for taking part in this on mass information assimilation. Keep your fleshy eyes peeled on game. Erdads.co.uk for all the latest gaming news and discussions. You can find my reports on YouTube and also as part of the Game Erdads podcasts, which can be found at tinyurl.com slash podcasts. Until next time, I have been Reds Gamma and you have just been made wiser by the Game Erdads network. You are welcome.